Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is your mid to end of August love life reading for singles and couples and all of you in betweeners. I wanna thank you so much for everyone who has supported me, who sent me donations, booked readings with me, liked, comment, shared, subscribe. You guys are the best. I wanna thank you so, so much. I absolutely am grateful to everyone's support. Let's get started. Remember, this is a general reading, so not all messages might resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I hate to sound like a broken record, but sometimes I need to. <laughs> and so here we go, Aquarius, singles, straight up single, ain't got nothing going on in their life, not dating anyone, not seeing anyone. What is going on with single Aquarius? Okay, that's it. Let me see. Single Aquarius, straight up single. Mid to end of August, heart to heart conversations. One more, please. Codependency. Okay. For some of you, what I'm feeling here is that there is still some sort of codependency issue, whether it is with an ex a relative, for some it's a codependency issue with their child, for others it's a codependency issue with their ex, and for others I feel with a mother or a mother figure. So if there is someone that you've contemplated on either getting back together with or possibly starting a relationship with, there are just some codependency issues here that affect you and or this other person. So I'm getting a lot of messages here. So let's start off the bat with those who still have a codependency with an ex-partner. You can't seem to move on from it. It's not just a codependency emotionally, but it's financially as well. So if you're receiving alimony, child support perhaps for some of you that alimony and child support hasn't been coming in the way it should and you're hating the fact that you're dependent on their their help on their assistance there are reasons why you have not been getting it on time or getting it at all remember that these are general readings and so these energies can be reversed Aquarius singles it could be you who's been single and your ex is codependent on you for money. And so you feel as though you cannot start something new with someone because you're already doubting. You have the pessimism in terms of, you have a pessimistic outlook when it comes to starting a new relationship with someone because how are you going to explain to them this attachment to the ex that you're, you've been broken up with, you've been separated with, you've been divorced from, for quite some time you're still supporting this family you'd like to have new beginnings you'd like to move forward there are things that are the best way I can describe it's unfinished business with you and whoever this first person that comes to mind might be I also feel that for some of you it's an emotional codependency And maybe you feel this need to spoil them and take care of them when they come to you and they're listening to you and you want to talk to them, they want to talk to you. It's like you get sucked back into this cycle. There are things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of and vice versa. And the minute that you will, the, the minute the secrets come out, true feelings come out when you have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, there is going to be some secrets that come out, issues about the codependency, issues about the finances. There will be some arguments. It will be pretty harsh. Aquarius, you can be harsh with your words. Ultimately, you, what you want to touch about, what you want to speak about is how you feel 
or maybe this is what they want to communicate to you, is that it is time to move on and move forward. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, look at that. One person is reaching out. The other one is just void. You wonder if they're even listening. And maybe you've avoided having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person because it's like in one ear and out the other. And so you've held on to so much, so many feelings, so many issues, so many things that you just, even for your own peace of mind, need to just release. Just say it out in the world, out in the air. Just the minute that those words come out will help you to release yourself from whatever it is that you're holding on to. Maybe you hate that they're dependent on you financially or vice versa. It, it feels as though you get very defensive with them or they get defensive with you. This is a constant battle, a fight. You want to move ahead. I don't feel as though this is someone who wants to get back together with an ex. I feel like they just want to leave them behind and that codependency sucks them back in. No matter, no matter what they try to do, they still feel as though... They're tied to this situation, no matter how much they try to move on. So, part of the secrets here that need to be revealed is that you do want to move forward without them. You want to be able to do things in a civil manner. See, you want to move forward. This is what you're thinking about and you just, you're, you're, it's almost as though you're afraid to release yourself from this codependency issue. You're afraid is how they're going to react to it. But this isn't like a new relationship. This is someone who's been broken up for quite some time. But the codependency here is what's causing the problems. Because although this relationship has been over with for quite some time, for a long time actually, for whatever reason, there's still a codependency. Someone's not wanting to let you go or you're not fully releasing someone. And so you have this third party situation. Doesn't mean you're still hooking up. Doesn't mean you're sleeping with each other. Doesn't mean, does, I don't even feel like there's any flirting going on. Like any type of love, emotional, like this is like a stressor. This is what is blocking you. This is what is keeping you single, like straight up single Aquarius. You need to have a heart to heart conversation. You need to release everything you've been holding on to that you haven't been speaking about. You need to look towards your future because you want your happily ever after here. You want to charge ahead, but those heart to heart conversations is what needs to take place in order for you to move forward. You need to cut the ties with this codependency issue because it feels as though with the nine of wands, it's like you go through this battle with them. They suck you back in or you get sucked back in. And then it's like, oh, let me take a break here. They wear me down. They wear you down so much. You don't have energy to continue to a relationship of your own. And anytime you start trying to have a new relationship, there's a third party meddler. This ex, this parent, this child, there's always that third person that you need to think about. Could be a Libra. It could also be that if, if you've been separated and you guys have never done the divorce papers, it is time. It is time to get legally divorced as it's you are energetically tied to this person because you've got unfinished business. That codependency is going to continue. Cut them. Cut them out emotionally and energetically and legally. If you have if you've been separated for quite some time, you want to move forward. You want to manifest a brand new beginning. You're at a point in your life where you could see things are looking up. You could see things are looking up. Financially, your stability, you're in a good place. But what's lingering? You're in a good place and the only thing missing is a partner. But how can you have a partner when you're still energetically and emotionally 
tied to this person. And so you make hasty decisions. You run back in the minute they need something from you. Uh, they'll ask you for something simple, car problems, or, you know, hey, I, I got a flat tire. Can you help me out here? This is where I'm at. You need to divorce yourself from this person. You need to release yourself from this person because if you want a new beginning, it's not going to happen until you take care of this situation. And if it's not, if it is not a, if it is not a legal situation in terms of getting a divorce, getting legally separated, this codependency issue, this block you have is what's stopping you have a new beginning in love. You have the fool and the ace of cups. Are you kidding me? You can't get much more happy, loving, new beginning than that. And you've got the sun card here. Aquarius, release yourself from this person that you have not been able to walk away from. Yeah, maybe you've been broken up, but you're not fully detached from them energetically, emotionally, for some of you physically. You want to start something new, you want to be in a healthier, loving relationship, then you need to take a step back from this person. You need to release yourself, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, cut away the ties for this codependency. Cut them away. Let me clarify that, give me a second. I was about to get a heal yourself card, but you know what, let me clarify that codependency issue. All right, how does Aquarius, how does Aquarius, hold on, these are, these are getting a little crazy here. How can Aquarius release themselves from this codependency issue? Queen of Pentacles, you've got the King of Pentacles here. If you're trying to get yourself financially set, Making practical decisions with your life is what is being called for. So if you have been codependent to someone where it's almost as though you can't imagine making future decisions without them being involved, whether they are decision makers in your life or you have a child together and so it's almost as though you cannot make these decisions without their input, how much of your personal life, your personal time, have you entangled this person with? If you have a child, keep it strictly about the child. Don't bring in your personal life. Don't bring in the plans that you want to make for yourself. Don't bring up any of those plans. The, as far as they are concerned and as far as you are concerned, you should not be concerned with what's going on in their life. They should not be concerned with what's going on in your life. And this is just about the child. For others, you are financially codependent on someone. You need to find your own financial stability. Save up that money. Get another job so that you can cut away that need to want to run to them. The minute that you, you know, you're short a few bucks this month, you, you know, oh, I need, I, you know, our kid needs this, our kid needs that. Yes, they should pay their freaking child support. Absolutely. But there are a few of you that don't have kids together, but got used to being spoiled by them or got used to them, you know, covering the tab here and there. You forgot what it's like to pay for your own stuff. Overspending, so you go back to them, ask them for a loan, ask them to help you out this month. You know, if you really want to move forward with a new beginning in love, it's time for you to just let the old shit go. Cut yourself away from the codependency issues, whoever this might be, parent, child, ex, friend, because sometimes we have friends that just show up and crash at our place and it like turns in, goes from like one night we went out and then it turns into a week and we can't get rid of them. All of a sudden they're your roommate. <laughs> so muster up the strength 
to gain your momentum, gain your stability, make practical decisions when it comes to finances, your household, how you can move forward. You really have something bigger and better waiting for you. And I see the path here, but you're almost afraid to take that leap of faith. You go through these ups and downs of thinking that you're not ready for it. And so you get, you go back to what feels comfortable or vice versa. Find the strength to cut these codependency issues, to have those heart to heart conversations, to figure out exactly what it is that you want. Move forward with newfound energy, newfound, a new path. You have new ideas and it's almost as though everything you've you've decided on every plans you've made every plan you've made for your life somehow you have kept this person in the loop even though you shouldn't maybe you guys broke up a long time ago maybe this is someone who you know seems to be having a rough month which turns into a rough six months which turns into a rough year you need to stand your ground and set up healthy boundaries. Let's see. Let me get one of these cards from the Heal Yourself deck. How does Aquarius, Aquarius singles, how do they heal themselves from this codependency issue? How can they heal themselves and move forward? Alchemy. I know that I have received this message for you before Aquarius alchemy. You have the power in your hand to create the life that you want. You can turn lemons into lemonade. You have the power to manifest the life that you want, cutting yourself from these codependent ties from this person. You, I, I just, I get the sense that some of you know how strong you are and others don't. You're afraid to empower yourself, to walk away with your own strength. This is too many cards. I'm trying to get one, no more than two. Okay, I got two here. So, let's see. Have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, especially when it has to do with codependency. And speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Look at how beautiful that card is. If this is a friend that's been down on their luck, who have maybe have been codependent on you, who've been crashing at your place, who can't seem to get their shit together, no matter how much you try to be there for them, no matter how much, you know, you've probably even like hooked them up with a job interview. And even then, like, they're just lost right now. Speak clearly, have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and in a loving way. And don't be afraid to set up boundaries. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Part of the reason why you are in this codependent situation is because you are afraid to move on to a new relationship. Because what you had in the past is what you miss however good or bad it's been. And although I don't feel as though this was a recent breakup or a recent separation, I still feel as though there is some sort of attachment here. And you kind of just want to go back to what's familiar to you. You're afraid to start something new with someone. You want to, because I get that feeling. I get the feeling that you want to, you definitely want to. <sighs> but you have to cut away those codependent ties, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, really, really decide what it is that you want. And so that way you are able to cut away what doesn't serve you. That way you're able to move forward, taking a chance on, you know, what you've been afraid of doing for quite some time. There is a, uh, there is a new beginning here, especially when I see the Fool and the Ace of Cups. There is an opportunity for new love. However, you, you're kind of blocking that new love from coming in. It, you don't see the new love coming in because you're so stuck on this codependency. It's almost as though like you can't even entertain anyone new coming in because there's still such a strong tie and attachment 
to this person from your past or those that have this codependency issue with a child or or a parent or a friend so that's what you've got going on here singles aquarius let's see what couples got couples couples married ex just exclusively dating married in betweeners in betweeners are those that are taking a break from their partner are thinking about breaking up are acting like they're single maybe they are single maybe you just broke up a couple weeks ago you're going back and forth from being single to being in a committed relationship in betweeners can't figure out which which one belongs to you so let's see what is going on for Aquarius couples <laughs> you've got to be shitting me you saw me shuffle that's all I'm gonna say you saw me shuffle several times playfulness I'm gonna pull pull one more card codependency playfulness free yourself okay for those of you that are okay for you in betweeners that are in between because of the codependency you need to free yourself from that codependency. Some of you here have a child that has addiction problems or a partner or a parent with addiction problems. It is affecting your relationship, especially for those that take care of a parent, take care of a child. Their child doesn't mean they're a child like, a teenager and they've got drug issues it could be a 20 30 something year old child your son your daughter your child any age really you're up all night you're worried about whether this is the night that they're gonna come home or this is the night the police are gonna show up some of you have alcoholic partners partners with gambling issues You want to help them. You want to help them break free from this. But at the same time, you are just tired of this bullshit. You're tired of it affecting your relationship. You don't know what else to do. You know you need to free yourself. For those of you that are in a committed relationship, that have a codependent child, parent, friend that is constantly interrupting your love life, your partnership. Take some time to take a break from this codependent relationship and be playful with your partner. It is time for new beginnings. It is time for you to speak your truth. Look at that. You got the sun again. This codependency issue is causing you nightmares. Whether... It's some of you in-betweeners that were watching the singles reading. If you did not watch the singles reading, singles got codependency as well. So for you in-betweeners that are trying to move on, maybe possibly just started talking to someone, just started dating someone, but they have a codependency X, you know, issue, situation, whatever it might be that keeps pulling them back in. It's causing you nightmares. You might be spending time with your partner when all of a sudden you get a call come pick me up or this or that, you know, and it's like they call you to rescue them. It doesn't have to be serious. It can be something minor, like I said earlier. It could be something as simple as a flat tire. You're probably seeing someone, and rather than seeing your current partner, you go back to your ex and ask them for help. There is a need for you to release yourself from this codependency issue. You, you, you are ignoring it. You are feeling as though it's not that serious. You're getting the same cards as singles. They got the high priestess as well. They got the codependency card and they got the sun card. But now that you've started seeing someone, because this is for couples and those in-betweeners, if you do have someone that you have been seeing, This is a secret you're keeping from them. 
that there is a codependency with an ex-partner. You're not even... Part of you feels bad about it. The other part, you don't realize that for those of you whose partners are aware of the codependency, it makes them wonder whether you want another chance or another opportunity with them. It keeps them up at night thinking, is this, is this time that they call for their help going to be the, the next time that they get back together again? Is this what brings them back together again? Do we have a chance at this? I'm not going to take all these cards, but I'm going to show them to you because there is a need for healing. If you are in a relationship and yet you still call on your ex for help, there's a problem there. Now, if it has to do with a child, again, like I said with the um, singles, have dealings only when it comes to the child. If you are entertaining anything, no matter how much you think it doesn't mean or it doesn't matter anything to you, your partner sees a different view, whoever this is that you're seeing. They question, why do you keep in touch? Why are you keeping in touch with them? Why are you calling them? Why didn't you call me? I could have helped you. Are you undermining them? Are you undercutting them? Two of Cups, the Star, the Fool, and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius. So, Queen of Swords, you have an opportunity to, for a new beginning in love. But there is some healing that you need to do when it comes to this past relationship. There is a codependency here. And you can act like you don't give a shit about them. You can act like, no, it's just because... That's what I've been used to, but it sounds like a bullshit excuse. Sorry, just going to say it. Next time, ask yourself, how, will, how could I handle this without calling my ex? How can I handle this without calling whoever it is you have a codependency issue with? If it is a friend that you're bailing out, a child that you're bailing out, a parent. How can I handle this without bailing them out again? So before we move on, tell me how can Aquarius break Aquarius couples? How can they break free from this codependency issue? And you got the star card again. There is some healing that needs to be taking place here that hasn't. And it's like you just moved on without doing any of the healing. And in order for you to have wish fulfillment, you have to. You have to heal. If this was someone who was an alcoholic or maybe this is you who has had a drinking problem, there is... There is a sense of alcoholism that has affected this. Oh, this these kind of flipped over here. This, there is a sense of alcoholism. If you had a drinking problem in the past or you were with someone who was very toxic and alcoholic, who was abusive, and yet you still, oh, who, when I said abusive and that shit came out, that tells me they were not just they were not just verbally abusive. They mind fucked you. They made they made you feel low. They made you feel worthless. They loved just fucking with you. I can feel it. Like they just did not care. They were just so consumed by their alcoholism. They, they were lying, they were cheating, they were manipulating, and they were walking away and turning their back on you every chance they got. You may have been in a relationship with them, but they always acted like they were single. Not always, but most of the time. For some of you, yes, always. But the minute you weren't around, they acted like you were single. And for some of you, because you took so much of this abuse for so long, they did it in front of you without caring. 
complete and total disrespect. And you allowed it because there was a codependency here that you have not healed from. That relationship may have ended years ago. And you probably have no real reason why you still need to contact them or communicate with them. But you do anyway because you haven't fully released them energetically. You need, if you need to be an asshole to cut them out of your life, then do so. But they were definitely the asshole before. And don't think for one minute they still don't have it in them. Let's move on to those of you who need to free yourself from something because I feel like this codependency is what you need to really free yourself from. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. Aquarius couples, what are we freeing ourselves from? The ending of a life cycle. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So there was a life cycle that ended abruptly, very harshly, was very painful. Does not mean it's recent. It could have been from years ago. The first relationship, partnership, friendship, whatever it may have been to you. In a, remember, a love relationship doesn't just mean a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. This could be your best friend. This could be a soulmate best friend because there are those that you're super tight with and all of a sudden, harsh ending. We've got two cards of endings, endings and new beginnings because actually three cards, look at this. You have two tens, free yourself. This shit is over and done with. Why are you still holding on to it? Why do you still carry that energy around you? Those swords are heavy drop them and move on because they are still keeping an eye on you. They are still keeping, they're keeping tabs on you. They're asking about you. They're wondering about you. And you know they are. You know they are. Put that shit to an end already. Free yourself from it. It was such a toxic ending that you needed. There's no love there. Knight of Cups reversed. There is no love there. But you carry that shit energetically. And it was probably someone that you were married to before. Or this could be, in a third party situation, the husband that was there. Or fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Free yourself from this person. Could have been a water sign. Could have been a... Actually, I see all pretty much all signs except Earth. So... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Free yourself from this energy and move forward. You've got such bigger and better things waiting for you, but you're carrying this old ass energy. And the universe is going to say, when is it going to be enough for you? When is it going to be enough for you? Haven't you been through enough? When are you going to let it go and move on? Because we're about to push you forward. We're going to catapult you with that Wheel of Fortune, the World card, the Ten of Swords, huge endings. Walk away from it. Let it go. Release yourself from it. Why do you feel stuck? Why? <sighs> Why does Aquarius feel stuck to this? Why does Aquarius feel tied and bound to this relationship that they cannot free themselves from this codependency feel so there's a card that flipped over here yes no yep there it is oh gosh again with the confusion the mind fucking they love to play with your head and that kind of damage if it was a water sign pisces cancer scorpio that kind of damage no matter how much you say you don't feel their energy anymore, you've cut them out of your life, you're still juggling. But you're juggling with yourself. All the things from your past that you haven't fully released yourself from. The devil card is there telling me. What does Aquarius need to do to break free from this codependency, from this 
energy, confusion from the past. What does Aquarius need to do? King of Wands again, Four of Cups, the Death card. If this was a Scorpio you were dealing with, look, that needs to be you cutting this Scorpio out or whoever it may be because I have just about every sign except Earth signs. So cut them out. Start again. Free yourself from the bullshit from the past, from the codependency issues. You probably have like no love for this guy. I really feel like there's no love here. But yet you feel like you can't move forward. You look at the past as time wasted. I wasted my time on this guy. I wasted my time on this freaking crazy chick. Right? But that's you holding yourself in prison to all the shit that happened in the past. You. You are the only one holding yourself in there. And this person can just breathe around you and it brings back horrible memories. You cannot let go of the past no matter how much you think you have. You have not been able to. And that energy from the past is what you're bringing into the present and current moment. And you will continue to bring it forward into the future. Look at that. A card of looking forward towards the future. And then look, they're both facing the same way. It's like the balance of optimism and pessimism. <coughs> Excuse me. I, oh. So some of you aren't speaking up. You've been holding it inside. If you need to seek professional help, seek therapy, counseling, release yourself from whatever this may be. You have the power to change this. <coughs> Why haven't you done it? Playfulness. Let's get back to the important stuff here too. Because with this harsh energy that you're holding on to, you need to be able to have playfulness here. Couples. You, will, you are having this missed opportunity. Resentment about whether or not you're doing the right thing. Maybe you're leading someone on in a current relationship when you haven't fully released yourself from the past. Maybe your partner is the one feeling like the four of cups, like they see a different perspective than what you're you what than what you think you're showing. And maybe they're wondering whether or not there's a future between the two of you. Which path do I take? Do I release myself from them? Either way, I feel that there are two people here wanting to move forward. How do these two people move forward? Say what needs to be said. Speak up about it. If there is a financial matter that needs to be discussed, if it is children, if it is where do we go from here, if it is you discussing how you felt in the past in other relationships and you're afraid that this is coming into your current one, speak up about it. Help them understand. In order for... In order for you to have this new opportunity in love, maybe to revamp this current opportunity, stop being so defensive and be more playful. Why are the angels saying you need to be playful? Because you're so freaking defensive. You're so, you're wound up so tight. One little thing can set you off. And yet you want to say, I want to put this to an end and get married. I want something more traditional and this isn't traditional. You know, Aquarius, you haven't fully healed from the past. How can you demand something more traditional from someone else when you're still dealing with some mixed up emotions about the past? 
these are two cards about looking towards the future but as much as you want to fight for this new future that you want with them you want to be playful whether it's you not being receptive to their playfulness or it's them not being receptive to yours because of arguments and disagreements you have had in the past. Okay, how can Aquarius couples heal from this and move on? You got two cards. The first one I did not take because I had just started shuffling and as I shuffle, the same card came out procrastination so you've been putting off actually dealing with the stuff from your past speaking about it you feel like what's the point why talk about it it's just part of my past I don't want to bring it into my future I need to let it go but in order for you to let it go you think you're moving forward but you're not you you may be moving forward but you're not releasing yourself from it you just you know kind of put some blinders on and you're moving forward blindly and we're dealing with a soulmate here. You may have a love interest right now that you're with or married or living with or partnered up with. That is your soulmate that you need to spend time with, that you need to be partnered up with, that you cannot allow the toxicity, codependency from your past, from your past relationships to affect this one. Put it behind you. Let's close out the reading. It's not even just about putting it behind you because I'm going to tell you there are Aquariuses here who have said, but I did. I have. Right. If your ex can still rile you up, get your emotions all crazy, you're not fully over them. You're, you may be tired of them. You may be sick of their shit. But... If you're still getting angry at them, a lot of that anger is from the past that you're still carrying. And although you think you're not taking it out on your current partner, you're carrying it energetically. So if your current partner does something remotely similar to what your ex did, guess who gets hit with that old anger and resentment? So whether you want to acknowledge, oops, sorry, cards fell on my camera here. Whether you want to acknowledge these energies from the past that still linger, maybe you don't want to talk about it with this partner, but you've got to figure out how you're going to release yourself from it. And so have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. You do need to release yourself from it. You do need to heal from it. Like those butterflies. When you transform yourself from that pained caterpillar, shedding out their layers, turning into a butterfly, right? You can have that with this partner. So... Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Look at how beautiful that card is. Go for a walk, go for a hike, sit on your porch, your patio, whatever. Look up at the moon, the stars. Enjoy the environment, the scenery around you. Meditate, contemplate, figure out what your next steps are, figure out what you really want and figure out why you're still holding on to this anger and resentment from the past why do they still get under your skin it doesn't mean that you're still you still love them or you're still in love with them but clearly there is some energy from the past you haven't released yourself from if it resurfaces every time this codependency issue comes back up so Aquarius that was your reading singles and couple um I hope that this resonated. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I absolutely appreciate all your support. For personal readings, you can find my information in the description box below, and I'll be posting more videos soon. Take care, Aquarius. Bye.